So today I got a package from Sino Poly USA and I'm not sure if this is sponsored or if I bought it. I have tons of packages coming, but we're gonna open it up and find out. <gasps> no way. Oh my God. I actually ordered these on AliExpress and these are the cheapest lithium iron phosphate cells around and it came in like a week. I thought this was gonna take like a month, but they're actually here. So that means they actually have an American warehouse. And this video is not sponsored. They did not send these to me. I'm buying these with my own cash from now on. So I just checked my receipt and for four 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate calp cells, I spent $423 with shipping and taxes. So if you have four of these, you can make a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery with the same capacity as a Battleborn. All you have to do is add your own BMS. This price also includes the bus bars. But I'm not sure if these are any good and I'm not sure how well the cells are matched. So we're gonna do a capacity test and see how well they work. And it's crazy that each cell is in its own box and it has its own bag. It's really nice and the terminals are covered. These are probably the best packaged cells at the cheapest price I've ever seen. I love doing videos that are not sponsored because you never know what you're gonna find. It'll be either really good or really bad. So how beautiful are these cells? These look so good. So we have a positive and a negative terminal and then a high pressure vent and it's made with a very durable nylon. But something I noticed already, and this is probably why they're cheap, is how large these cells are. These are about the same size as a typical Sino Poly cell, but let's compare it to a 100 amp hour aluminum case cell. Just look at how small this form factor is compared to this massive battery pack. So the same capacity, but these are pretty big. So if size or weight is a issue, you should probably not get a Kelb or a Sino Poly. You should get an aluminum case type cell. And you can easily construct a pack with electrical tape as I'm gonna do in this video, but I do not recommend people doing that at home. You should use some hose clamps or make a case for it where you can compress them together. That is important with these cheaper Calb and Sino Poly cells. A lot of the people that use these for car conversions always recommend using hose clamps or something to hold these together. If they cannot be pushed together and you have bus bars connecting them, you can actually break the internal connection of the terminal because as they expand and contract, it will actually hurt this part of the battery. So you wanna hold these together with something. But for me, I'm gonna use electrical tape because we're just doing a capacity test and that's it. I can't believe the quality is so nice on these for how cheap they are. Like the terminals look so nice. They're almost better than the more expensive cells just quality wise. So now that we have the bus bars aligned, I'm gonna connect these with electrical tape. And like I said earlier, this is not recommended, but for our test, it's fine. What is cool is they add an extra bus bar if you have this for a large battery pack. Sometimes they don't give you this, but it's nice that they do. So now we need to add our balance lead for our BMS. So we have a main negative, and then first cell positive, second, third, and fourth cell positive. We just need to add it to the top of this battery. If you are a beginner, please watch my other videos where we learn how to build these. But for this one, we're just doing a test and review. So I expect that you know how to do this. And for this test, we're gonna use a 100 amp DALI BMS. Our battery is now complete, but before I plug this into the BMS, let's check these cell voltages. First cell is 3.27, 3.27, 3.27, and 3.27, that's incredible. It's incredible because this isn't sponsored, so sometimes you will see them being all sorts of voltages, but that's good, that means that these are probably capacity tested and matched, and we're gonna find out how well they're matched when we do the test. Now that our battery is built and the BMS is plugged in, we have 13.09 volts. So we need to charge this up all the way. And these two cables go out to my charger and inverter. And this is not a bomb, I promise. I don't know what this would do if I brought this on an airplane, but it does not look very safe. Now the charger is active and we're charging at 20 amps. And because it's around 50 to 60% state of charge, it'll take about two and a half hours to charge up all the way. So we got good results, you guys, 1,360 watt hours, but this is not very surprising. These are brand new matched cells by Sinopoly USA. But what I'm amazed about is the price. 
For getting this much capacity with true lithium iron phosphate with a name brand, we're pulling 1,360 watt hours. But this is only for the first couple cycles when cells are brand new. If I cycled these about 20 or 30 times, we would get like right under 100. It'd be like 99 amp hours. But it's good to do this test to know if these cells are actually new. These have never been cycled and they were probably cycled once at the factory so that they can match them and that's it. So these cells actually work and they're cheap. This is pretty cool. And what's crazy is last year we built a used lithium iron phosphate Sinopoly battery and it was about $350. So the price of used cells at 80% capacity are almost the same cost as brand new matched cells. That's crazy. And these are grade A cells. You even have a warranty barcode. Um, it's direct from Sinopoly USA. And these are considered older manufacturing method batteries. And that's pretty much why they cost less and they weigh more and they're also larger. But they work perfectly fine. And if you have a stationary solar power system, these will work perfectly. And some people might argue, wait a second, Will, what if we don't know how long these will last for? Sinopoly, Kalb, and Winston cells have been around for a very long time. You can find battery studies with those specific cells. So I know a lot of people look at the price and they're like, wait, what's the catch? But you have to look at the manufacturing methods. You have to think about where they're made, how they're distributed, who's matching the cells, and all of those other things that matter a lot. Because if you get a distributor and they're just re-sleeving the cells and you have, you have no idea what kind of battery is underneath, then you're gonna get ripped off and that happens a lot. But if you test the cells or you buy them direct from the manufacturer, you're gonna get a good deal. Now let's go over the pros and the cons of these cells and if you should actually buy them. First of all, they're high quality name brand cells and yes, they are brand new based off of our test. Next, the charge cycle life for Winston Kelb and Sinopoly is really good. You're going to get 2,000 to 5,000 charge cycles depending on ambient temperature and how you cycle it. Next, the packaging is perfect, okay? That was incredible how they packed each individual cell. That's some of the best packaging I've ever seen. Next pro is that they are cheap. They're practically the same cost as a used cell. People are still fighting on eBay for Sinopoly cells and they only have 80% capacity. Now you can buy them brand new and they're matched and they come with bus bars, which is nuts. Now let's talk about the cons. First of all, this Dally BMS, it does not have low temperature cutoff. So as I've talked about in many, many videos, you need to create your own low temperature cutoff mechanism. And typically the cheapest and easiest way is by a Victron solar charge controller and by a battery sense module that will allow the solar charge controller to know the temperature of your battery and it will disconnect if they are too cold. So I also cover that in the website and I have schematics on how to use these BMSs. So please check those out if you are completely lost as to what that means. Next, you need to make a case or use hose clamps. Okay, you need to make something that can hold this battery still. The next downside is that it's big and it's heavy. It's pretty much double the weight and almost double the size of a comparable aluminum cased lithium iron phosphate. But even though it's large and it's heavy, it's much smaller than a lead acid battery. And you know what's cool is nowadays we actually can buy these BMSs. Not long ago we had to solder the tiny tabs and it would be rated for 100 amps. It was like this big. And it was like, no way can that handle 100 amps. Now we actually have things that last for years and they're rated and you have warranties. It takes 10 minutes to add a BMS. So it's awesome. I think the only thing that we need for this system is a BMS that has a low temperature cutoff. And I actually have some coming in the mail right now. So we might actually have some options soon after we test them. But overall, this is a good deal, you guys. This is a good deal. This is not sponsored. I bought these myself and they work as advertised. How cool is that? How rare is it that we actually get a good product? And I have other batteries coming, but these are the cheapest lithium iron phosphate batteries I could find on AliExpress or Alibaba. So we have lots of other reviews that are coming in the following months, but none of them are as cheap as these. So I want people to actually buy these now and experiment with them. And if you have any problems, I want you guys to let me know. 
These are name brand cells and people have used them for a long time. So that's why I can actually trust them for longevity reasons. We have charge cycle life data sheets. This is not a new company. People have been using these for a long time. So yeah, we have a new recommendation, finally. Also, I know a lot of people are skeptical of cheaper lithium cells, but they're gonna get cheaper, all right? Because manufacturing methods are dropping the prices of all of these. So do not be shocked when next year these are $300, and then maybe in five years it's $200, because right now they're building some huge factories and everything is getting cheaper. Even with this chemistry alone, we have new manufacturing methods that are making them lighter, last longer, everything everything's getting better for lithium batteries so i hope you guys like this video and also check out the diy solarform.com a lot of people are signing up we have tons of cool projects that people are posting so yeah check it out thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye